Timmy? Are you okay, Timmy? I have a feeling Timmy's not okay. Well, poor Timmy's gone the cuckoo route today. Okay, let's give them some food. What's up, everyone? This is me, Sean. Today, I am here playing 60 seconds for your faces. So, basically what this is, is it's a game about surviving a nuclear fallout apocalypse kind of thing with your family. And the whole premise is you have 60 seconds to gather things in your house and get to the shelter before the bombs blow up. So, I'm going to start here. Just new game. I'm going to go classic. Okay, Atomic Drill, Apocalypse, Scavenge, or Survival. I'm going just straight up Apocalypse, which I think has everything in it. So, I'm going Fat Man. And yeah, let's begin the adventure. Okay. Alright, so we got a radio right here. Of course. Alright, ooh! Okay, so... Oh, I have 60 seconds after it tells me go. And then I have to grab stuff. Okay, I'm just gonna start in here because reasons. Alright. Okay, go, 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 go. Okay. So, I need water. Alright. And... Other things. Oh, the... Ow. Oh, I can't grab it. I can't grab it. Okay, go, 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 go. Throw it in there. Oh, goodness. This stuff is so loud. Holy crap. Okay. Uh... Do... Uh, grab stuff. Ammo. I need my family, too. Oh, goodness. 30 seconds has passed. Grab little Timmy. I must grab little Timmy. Put him in there. Oh, we gotta grab you. Come on. I need food as well. Holy crap. Okay. Food. Oh, I need... Oh, uh, you, should, you should come, too. Come on. Everything's so unresponsive in this game right now. This is so crazy. Oh, goodness. Oh, no. Soup. 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 Come on. Soup. Get to the shelter. Get to the shelter! No! Nah. Alright. Uh, come on. No, 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 no. Okay, I need, I need to stay here. Oh, no. Oh, this is gonna be so bad. Oh, no. I didn't grab anything. Day one. Oh, I am doomed. I am so doomed here from the start. Okay. What do we got here? All of us made it to the shelter just a second before the blast. That was a close one. As long as we're all together, we can make it work down here. We remember hearing canned soup is healthy for you. Really? We vaguely remember stashing some things in the shelter because there was no room for them upstairs. Turns out being messy can really work in your favor. Well, good for you. All right. Plus one bottle of water. That's very nice. Good thing we grabbed that suitcase. What we found inside definitely proved useful. Oh, uh, plus one rifle. Oh, wow. Good thing I grabbed that. Our shelves are full of cans. We'll eat from cans. We'll sleep on cans. We'll even talk to cans. That doesn't sound insane at all. Some of us already do. Really? <laughs> Okay, plenty of water means that we don't have to worry about that for some time. Well, great. Looks like, for some reason, I am well off. Okay, time to ration. You know what? You've been down here for less than a day. You've probably eaten already today, so I'm going to skip out on that. All right, it's very difficult to prepare for unforeseen consequences when you don't see them coming. Really? I didn't know that unforeseen meant you didn't see them coming. All right, jeez. Uh, well... They're unforeseen by definition. <laughs> All right, he had the same thoughts. Well, they're unforeseen by definition, so that makes a lot of sense. We can't say that we are prepared for what happened. No, you cannot. And that's why they were unforeseen. Okay. Next day, day numero dos. All right, what you got for me? Okay. What we make of today will be our tomorrow, so let's make it right. Mary Jane didn't cause any trouble today, and no trouble dared to cross her path. Good. No news is good news. There's nothing new going on with Timmy. That's great. And I also correctly named him Timmy. All right. Little Timmy there, staring up at the shelf for some reason. Dolores is doing quite well, or she just can't find anything to complain about today. Yep. <laughs> Tim. Ted, Tem? Tem? Ted seems to be doing alright, even though the world has gone to a crappy place. 
Yes. Okay. Well, everyone seems to be doing just right. And it's day two. And... Mm, nah. All right, I need to ration this stuff. We didn't expect to get a phone call so soon after the atomic bomb dropped. Yet, here we are. We can clearly hear a phone ringing outside. It must be the public phone booth on the other side of the street. Should someone go answer it? Uh, um, Timmy, go out there in the nuclear fallout and answer that phone for me, will you? <laughs> this can do nothing but go right. Oh, okay, Timmy's just fine. He's back. Okay, we got to the phone booth without any unexpected surprises and answered the phone quickly. We were so excited to hear a voice on the other side of the line. Excited, that is, until we realized it was a pre-recorded sales message for canned tomato soup. Wow. Timmy is on his best behavior. How long will it last? You never know with little Timmy here. I mean, he could go into some crazed rampage and eat all your food and drink. Hopefully, he won't do that. There has to be some, th some water left. Dolores should get it. Ted should drink something soon. So everyone, everyone gets water. Yes, water, water everywhere. Except for, for Timmy. Because screw Timmy. It looks like the area is irradiated. Going to the wasteland right now is unsafe unless you don't mind getting sick. Uh, everyone's at good health. Okay, sweet. Should we start preparing an expedition for tomorrow? Well... I'm okay for right now, so I'm not going to if it's irradiated. Trash can is becoming full of empty soup cans, and that unmentionable bucket is overflowing. Both of them are attracting strangely glowing, suspiciously big insect wildlife. Roaches weren't that big before the war, were they? Okay, um, well, I'm going to use the only thing that I can to help the problem. Are you going to smack the roaches with the book? I'm pretty sure that's what's going to happen here. Okay, so no one seems to be suffering any ailments. That was close. A nest of those glowing bugs might have been more than enough to drive us into the wasteland. Roaches are the worst, but radioactive roaches. Yikes. Okay, that doesn't seem too pleasant. It's always better when things are calm. Luckily, nothing new happened to Mary Jane today. Like the good scout he is, Timmy is making the best out of the situation. He even seems cheerful. Well, good for Timmy. Alright. Today was relatively calm for Dolores. That's always good. There isn't much going on with Ted. No trouble. Nothing new. Okay. Oh, that's a uh, lovely drawing. Just going to go to the next page. Okay, time to ration supplies. No one's getting anything because none of you are hungry and none of you are thirsty. So the contamination of our town is still strong. Scavenging in these conditions could result in radiation sickness. Now, this is a lower percentage than before, so I'm going to send somebody out. Okay, it's tough surviving in these conditions. Let's hope this will be over soon, or else we might end up dead in some wasteland ditch. That's not something we're looking forward to. I would not, look I would not looking forward to that either. I not English well. Some mornings we feel a bit hopeless. We need to pull ourselves together and be more optimistic. The army can't be far. Mary Jane is feeling safe. Who wouldn't in a coffin-sized shelter? All right. Timmy doesn't need much, but he should drink. Okay. Water again. If there is anything to report about Dolores, this is where it would have been written. Good stuff. Good stuff. This morning has been calm enough for Ted, and he is doing well. So... Timmy needs a little bit of water. Okay. We're feeling pretty optimistic about today's exp expedition. I cannot read words correctly. The only thing left is to choose the right person to go outside. You know what? Timmy seems a bit cheerful, and I just gave him some stuff. So, actually, I'm going to give him some food as well. Just before I send him out to the wasteland and basically give him a death sentence, I'm going to feed him properly. Alright, day six in the shelter. No Timmy, because Timmy's still out. We have ammo, we have a gun, we still have pretty much everything except for the water. Water is what Mary Jane needs right now. Timmy went out to the wasteland. We don't know what he'll... Or, uh, we don't know what we'll do if he doesn't come back. Water is all Dolores wants. Where is water when Ted needs it? So water, water, everyone. 
I'm just gonna take a little watering can, just pour it over them. Hopefully they'll be fine. Alright? Maybe they'll grow and blossom some nice flowers and maybe some fruit as well. I don't know. How about that trip to Nevada we've been postponing for a while now? Maybe we should go there. That's our first stop after we get out of here. Ooh, okay. Have fun in New Vegas. Not so subtle reference to other franchises that have to do with fallouts. We've discussed everything we could and no one is willing to chat anymore. The silence is really disturbing. We should do something before we start talking to ourselves instead. And there is no radio. Lovely. Okay, next. Now we're just gonna go crazy inside our shelter while everything gets irradiated and... Oh, these people aren't looking too good. Great. What do we got? There's nothing here. Maybe if we try really hard, we can hear the neighbors in their shelter. Mary Jane is really tired. Everyone is really tired. I can't fix that. I'm sorry. The problem is really simple. If we don't wash ourselves, we'll get sick. Seriously sick. It smells really bad down here and it doesn't seem to... Or it doesn't seem like it'll get any better over the next couple days. How about we do something to fix it? So I could waste precious ammunition to, I don't know, rub gunpowder on themselves? What the heck is gonna, what the heck's that gonna do? I don't know. We could give them, I don't, I'm sorry, you're gonna get sick. Oh gosh. Oh, this is gonna get really bad. Day nine. Oh, we're sick. Everybody's sick. Yay. The world has ended. Who cares about showering? Psh, yeah, who cares about personal hygiene, am I right? We can get used to it. Adapting shouldn't be hard. It will be like a camping trip. It... It will? Oh no. That smell is just terrible. Don't puke. Don't... Okay. Everyone sick and thirsty. Liquids, liquids, liquids. For everybody. Uh... Do I, I have a first aid kit and I have the option of giving them first aid? Oh, I can only give one of them first aid. Mmm. Uh, Ted, you're an abled body man. I can send you out after Timmy doesn't come back. We always thought life could be much better. That was before we got nuked. Now we think life could be much better. In a way, not that much has changed. Where's Timmy? Where's poor Timmy? I sent him out days ago. We've been smelling something funny from the shelter ever since we woke up. Sure enough, there was something. Something or someone started a fire. And it's already spreading. We can't save everything. What do we save from the flames? Well, obviously, the one thing that we have is the Boy Scout handbooks. So let's save that. Oh dear, we just remembered. We planned on taking a trip south in two months. Aw, uh, you poor people. If it's still there, we're going, right? We're pretty sure they don't bomb warm places. Well, I'm sorry to break it to you, but I don't think they use warm places as a, as a safe haven for nuclear apocalypses. Okay. I don't think that they are safe. Oh, Timmy's back. Hold on, I need water. We were so afraid for Timmy. But he came back from the wasteland and is safe with us now. Well, good for Timmy. Very good for Timmy. We brought some strange looking people back to our doorstep. They claimed to be wizards and were willing to trade useful supplies in exchange for a few weird trinkets. After hearing them out, we decided to look around our shelter for the items they wanted. Sorry, I didn't mean to bump the microphone. They were really ecstatic to find out about purchasing a pair of old socks which had been lying in the corner for some time now, living their own life. The wizards got them in exchange for a few bottles of water, and one of them placed the socks on her ears and started to dance. Wow. Alright, plus three bottles of water, yeah! They really wanted to sell us their radio. They claimed it was evil and whispers about the return of the Dark Lord. Okay. We gave them a bottle cap. Alright, we gotta fix the rumbling and the tumbly of Timmy here. And, and, and I'm going to go ahead and stock Ted fully up so that he can go out into the wasteland. And hopefully give or get stuff. Ooh, what should he take with him? Suitcase and... Hmm. 
And take the gun, why don't you? Go. Have fun with that gun of yours. All right. Hopefully he'll get us some awesome supplies before everyone here dies. Uh, I just realized I left them defenseless. Very nice. Well, Timmy gets everything. You need water and you need water. And we are running very low on supplies right now. That's not good. Timmy didn't say a word about it, but when he was outside, he scratched his hand on a wire or some other rusty piece of metal. His wound is not looking pretty, and we need to do something about it. We Were you gonna, like, chop off his hand with that axe or something? Oh my gosh, that's very Walking Dead of you. And we don't have- we don't have anything for poor Timmy, so he's just gonna die of tetanus and whatnot. Yep, they're gonna die. Oh, they're so dead. No, oh no. Oh, this doesn't look good. We have a situation on our hands. Well, really? There is a group approaching our shelter, and they don't seem like the occasional friendly scavengers you run into. Uh-oh. I shouldn't have said... Said? I should not have sent Ted with that gun. That's not good. Uh-oh. <laughs> not at all. They look like they are all out for blood or cans. Probably cans. This is a terrible time for humanity if canned soup is enough to turn us into monsters. Anyway, we need to defend ourselves. Welp. Tough luck. You got nothing. Oh. Uh, oh no, Mary Jane was shot. And our food and water has gone. Crap. Dolores got a nasty injury during the fight. Uh-oh. That's nice. So we got 200 people. We hope she will be alright, but we probably need to take care of that wound. Mary Jane was knocked out when the fighting <clears throat> when the fighting moved into the shelter. She says all that she has is a little headache, but we should keep an eye on her. Yes, yes we should. Mary Jane was injured, of course. Timmy's looking very pale, that's not good. No, it's not. Dolores has not eaten for a while. Dolores was hurt. And they want cake! You know, so do I. I would love some cake right now. That would be just the best thing to cure the sadness and the depression of living in a nuclear apocalypse. Cake would be, a, be, would be great for that. Ted needs to get back soon. Or he needs to die so that I know I'm at least going to die down here in the shelter. <clears throat> Enjoying the little things in life is important in any situation. So when Mary Jane found some seeds in the shelter, she got really excited. She thinks that with a little luck and enough water and soil, we might be able to grow our own food. We don't know if these are vegetable seeds, but if they are, planting them might be worth a shot. <clears throat> Shall we use a bottle of water to start our own garden? Eh, we're screwed anyway, so we might as well. Might as well. The other day, we heard a quiet knock on our door, but when we opened it, we only found a suitcase, and there was no one around. It isn't signed, but it sure looks like it's meant for us. Should we check what's inside? Yep. Alright. Alright, please. Okay, is that good? Oh, Ted's back! What'd you bring, Ted? You brought absolutely nothing! Dang it! The gift was booby-trapped. There was nothing inside besides some junk, and as soon as we opened the suitcase, it exploded. Is anyone hurt? Ted has safely returned from his voyage to the surface, plus the things he took with him to the surface he brought back. Okay. It might sound paranoid, but we think someone's followed us. Let's just hope this doesn't happen again. If we had to pick our favorite day of the week, it would be Saturday before the bombings. Saturday was a time of relaxing and joy. Like bribing Mary Jane with cookies so she stopped playing that tuba. Gossiping about the neighbors and of course bowling. Looks like the bowling alley is still standing. Yabba dabba doo! The bar didn't have much to offer. Some rotten salads, a bunch of burnt peanuts, and for some reason a cowboy hat. Okay, we were happy to find a secret stash of soup cans under some rubble. Well, isn't that lucky for you? Desperate times call for desperate measures. So we weren't surprised to see that someone placed water bottles instead of bowling pins at the end of the lane. We were sorry to ruin their setup, but we really need that water. Okay. Great, we got some more water. It's very nice. All right. 
I keep saying all right. I don't know why I'm saying all right. I'm just saying all right because all right is all right. Aren't there any drugs that we can give to Mary Jane? No, Timmy is hurt. Why doesn't everyone get every physical illness that can ever be? Ted became infected with something. Ted was hurt and Ted is really tired. Well, gosh darn it, Ted. Uh, you could have at least come back with a first aid kit so I could heal somebody. Like Timmy. Oh, no, we're not going to start an expedition because screw us. Okay, so let's turn on the radio. And hopefully some voice from the other side calls out to us and tells us where we can find the first aid kit. Please do that. We were able to get a weak signal and tap into the government's emergency announcement service. And guess what? Great news! The fallout outside is mostly gone. It should be much safer to travel to the surface now. Great, that's actually really good. If we get a first aid kit for some magical reason and we are able to heal somebody, then that'll be good. But if we aren't able to heal anyone, we're just stuck down here. This is insane. We keep finding spiders everywhere. They're in our soup. They're in our water. We swear some of them keep coming back and they are bigger every time we see them. Oh gosh. Please tell me I don't have to see any of these spiders. I hate spiders. Okay. It can't go on like this. It's time to wage war on these spiders. Yes! Punch the spiders in the face of that Boy Scout book. And then they will go away. It is a proven fact that that is the case. And no one is able to go out and answer that. So no! Ain't nobody gonna go answer that phone call. Mm-mm. So- Oh! Oh, goodness. Timmy? Are you okay, Timmy? I have a feeling Timmy's not okay. Mm-mm. Okay. Dolores suffered with her injuries for far too long. When the infection spread, there was nothing we could do. Well, I'm sorry, Dolores. Mary Jane's injuries were enough to make her angry at us. Or at least the fact that we decided not to do anything about them. When we got up, we found a note from her claiming she deserves better, and she left for Canada because it has better public health care system. I don't think Canada's doing too well either in the nuclear apocalypse, Mary Jane. I'm sorry to break it to you, but even though Canada's so nice, and they could talk their way out of a global catastrophe, they probably didn't. Alright, I'm sorry. Timmy was driven crazy, and Ted hasn't recovered from his illness yet. Well, poor Timmy's gone the cuckoo route today. Okay, let's give them some food. Hopefully, Timmy won't be crazy for too much longer. And there's no one to go outside and expedition. Today, an army broadcast interrupted our, let's just call it, breakfast. Anyway, they seem to be very eager to evacuate us, but then went over several things that needed to happen before they do it. The first item on the list is up to us. We were given geographical coordinates and need to get to there to leave a sign. We're alive. This should be easy with a map. Well, guess what? We don't have a map. And now we're just going to rot away in this cell down here, hoping that someday we get the supplies to survive, which we won't probably. Day 24. Oh, no. Oh, Ted. Uh, he doesn't seem to be faring too well. His nose is either running all the way down his chin or his nose is running and he's drooling. I can't tell. His hair is crazy. His beard is getting longer. Oh, no. Poor Ted here. Oh, no. We were sure we could find the location without a map, but we were wrong. Hopefully we'll get lucky next time. Ted has gone crazy, and Ted is tired. Uh, well, no sense in being stingy with the crap now. Okay. Whoa, the plant Mary Jane has been tending to is growing like crazy. Why? How has Mary Jane been tending to the plant? She's been gone. <laughs> It's also glowing in the dark. We've never grown carrots or anything, so we're not sure if that's a normal. It's not normal. Maybe it's a good time to collect whatever fruit it's produ produced. P -p produced? Whatever fruit it's produced. But yeah. Let's harvest it, because uh, there's nothing that could possibly make the situation worse, right? The end. Oh my gosh. So. 
Ted's dead. What happened to Timmy? whoop de doo if they would have survived, and we would have had four freaking cans of soup, but no, they didn't survive. Good call with the plant. Oh, yep, yeah, they got freaking cans of soup. The glow seems to give it extra nutritional value. Great. Welp, we couldn't do anything about Timmy's wounds. They got worse and worse until eventually he got fed up and left. So Timmy's sick, crazy, and now out in the wasteland, so he's probably dead. All that remains of him is a note explaining that we are lousy parents and that he will be back when he becomes a warlord of the wasteland. Okay. Good thing we died now instead of at the hands of Timmy. Ted's wounds were too serious to leave untreated. They became infected and took Ted's life. Surviving the apocalypse is no easy task. We can tell you that much. We held out for 25 days. Oh, man. Looks like that's it. Oh, I perished in the unforgiving wasteland that is whatever small town we were living in. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to leave this video here, guys. So I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and that big ol' red subscribe button if you haven't yet. Also, if you want to see me go crazy in the wasteland again, put that in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.